What's going on guys? Welcome back to Grand Force Gaming. Nova here with another Street Fighter Duel video. And man, right now, this game is literally everything but boring. There's so much going on right now. These updates lately have been just insane. These events are super fun. And I gotta tell you guys, I'm pretty impressed with the six month anniversary update. The reason being is that we're seeing things this time around as far as the updates are concerned, as far as the game is concerned, they're a little bit more... Uh, let's say, helpful for the free-to-play community. Uh, as an example here, and I'm sure you guys are aware of this already, but they're doing a 50% discount on Witch Jury if you're going to summon for her a divination. This is, this is insane. It applies to tickets and it applies to gems. I'm very impressed by this. This is a very user-friendly thing to do. This isn't just like a really nice kind of like nod to the free-to-play community saying, we see you, we hear you, um, we're willing to try some things out and see if this works better for you. So I'm very impressed by this. And I need to tell you guys, and this is this is straight, this is news right from the devs, okay? What I'm going to tell you right now is fact, this is news, you guys need to keep this in mind, is that this is a test, okay? The way that they're doing this with Wish Jury right now is something that they're they're like putting their feelers out to see what the reaction is from the community on this. If this is a very positive reaction, if if the community reacts well to this, people are excited about it, they summon often for her, then this is something that we're going to see going forward. I know right now it's very easy to find creators on YouTube complaining about this game for lack of a better word, cr just crying about it all the time. So this is a very common thing to see, but I think what we all need to realize is that we all need to take a little bit of a step back. We need to zoom out a little bit, and we need to look at the bigger picture here. There has been a clear shift in meta, okay? We're moving more into boss-based things. We're moving more into events. We're moving more into, like, more areas in which people can get rewards. But I think that the realization of that gets clouded by the fact that most of these creators that talk about this game are huge whales that decided to quit spending money because they beat the game within a month and they're mad that they don't have anything else to do and they don't think that things are fair. Okay, these are people that have spent $10,000, $12,000, dollars maybe even more on this game. Let's all just, you know, take a step back from the negativity here, I think, with this game and look at everything that's going on with it. These events are very fun. These boss fights are very fun. It's very easy to get better rewards now if you're building the correct teams and the teams are available to you. So if the devs are doing things like things like this right now where they are doing discounts on new summons and they gifted us one of those chaotic starlights so you can work on like previous collab fighter if you want to, you can save them up. You can still max previous collab fighters as a free to play player. Like these are all things that are really good. Okay. So please just let's all try to like you know, realize that things aren't so bad, right? This game is super fun. There's a lot of really good things going for it. So anyway, that's my speech on that. Uh, that statement comes directly from the devs as well. So t you can take my word for it. They are testing that out. And if reactions are good, we're going to see more discounts and that kind of thing going on. So this is very exciting. Midsummer Adventure was awesome. It's still going on. Boss fights are going very well. I'm having a lot of fun testing out new teams. We were given two copies of this fighter. They've never done that before. That's a very amazing thing as well. But let's just hop right into the, the Gate of Glory here. So we have this typical like playthrough. There's going to be an update every single day. There's going to be a new area to challenge your way through. I already did this one here, um, but I'll just pop into it real quick just in case anyone's curious about how to do this one. Basically, you've got two options. When you come in here, you can go all the way down here, or you can go all the way around the top. If you go down to the bottom, you're going to trigger the guards. You're going to have to fight all of them, but you should probably just fight them anyway. And if you go all the way up here, you're going to sneak past. You're going to search this trash can here, and then you're going to get the teleporter parts, and that allows you to sneak in. On the bottom right hand of the screen here, you can see this little like uh, like cat circle emblem. If you just tap that, it brings you back to the main screen. That's a cool feature. You don't have to like drive all the way around to make your way back to things. I definitely recommend clicking on this board here because then you can choose who you think uh, is holding Ryu hostage and that affects your rewards. So just make sure you tap on that and, and choose that as well. That kind of slipped by me the first time when I was in there. I didn't tap on that. I just didn't even think about it. Um, Burning Star, we've got uh, Fashion Ken available. I made a very clear stance on how I feel about him. I think he's going to be only boss oriented and I think that we don't have his team yet. So 
if you do happen to pick him up now, don't be surprised if he doesn't really work super well for you. I think that we're yet to see his potential realized, and I think that will come with a, a fighter that's yet to be released. Uh, we have some login rewards here that are really nice. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I'm definitely going to be continuing to pull Summer Yang copies because I really need to get him uh, as leveled as possible. Just got him to SSS last night, so I'm pretty excited about that because I can start using vehicles on him. Uh, we've got some just regular rewards in here. You've got your half-year grant, and we also have just kind of like a, a different interface here because if you look at the main interface, there's a lot going on here. You've got two rows of things to click on. So within here, you have specifically the half anniversary things. And this is something else very exciting that I wanted to bring up. They brought back Flame Chun-Li. This is the first time that they've made a previous legendary character that was limited time only available for a second time. And now I know some people are upset that she's more expensive than she was the first time around. But again, purchasing her is up to you. And, uh, you know, the way that I see this is the first time she came around, that was your early bird special. Okay, now you have the real price. If you don't want to do that, then, you know, that's your choice. Don't, just don't do it. Um, I think we were already in Gate of Glory. That's where all the other event things were. And yeah, I mean, that's it. You have like this, you can donate cream to this cake and you get some rewards. It's a server-based thing. That's kind of unique. They haven't done something like that yet. But aside from that, I mean, that's really kind of all we have going with today's update. I know I kind of went through it fast. It might not seem like it's a lot, but there's just a lot of really cool things happening right now. They also reset all of the fighter VIP things too. I don't know if you guys noticed that or not, but if you went in the, the fighting VIP, you're able to go back and collect everything again. That was amazing. I got a lot of really good summoning out of that last night because I got so many tokens from it. So that was really cool. Anyway, guys, that's going to cut it for this video. If you have any questions for me or for the Grind Force team, feel free to join our Discord. We have the link in the description as well as in our bio. We're online pretty much on and off all day. So happy to chat with you guys about Street Fighter Duel. If you like the content that we're doing here, please hit the subscribe button, like, and comment as well. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.